Hey, Suds family, how you doing today? I enjoyed your video. Showing a click through rate. I needed that and I'm going to watch it again when I get off to compare mine with yours more. I am doing good. It's getting ready to storm here. It's cloudy looking, but that's all right. It'll be fine. I know it. And it's been pretty all morning. I'm getting ready to share it out. I just want to help. Yes, and you're good at it. I've told you that over and over again. You are really good at that, though. So what's your plans for the weekend? Oh, your hubby's home. Okay. That's good. That's the good part there. Hubby's home. Oh, he's playing his game. Okay, that's all right. He play his game. You do your thing. Uh-huh. I'm on YouTube. That's right. Hey, Vicky, how you doing? Are you still celebrating? Are you still celebrating? Vicky got her 1K. Vicky got her 1K. And Vicky, every time I go on um, YouTube this morning, I see one of your videos. You all over the place on on uh, my on my YouTube page. They got you all over. Good, Suds family. You're doing good. You're going to have 1K before you know it also. It is coming. Vicky, it's beginning. It's getting ready to storm here. It's all cloudy looking, but that's all right. We still here. I know. But we'll be fine. It'll be good. Hey, Lois Fuller. Lewis Fuller, welcome to the live. Glad you came in today. Come on in and chit chat. You welcome Vicky. Vicky made uh, Vicky videos made her 1K yesterday, so we were here talking about that. Oh, you've had one person to share. That's good. Lewis is telling everyone hi. <laughs> You're at 1022, girl. Where you finding these people at? Wow. Yeah, because you, you got to have that cushion and you got your cushion. You'll be getting a letter, I mean, uh, an email from YouTube in a couple of days. It takes about two weeks for your community board to come up. I don't know why it takes so long for them to set up your community board, but that's community board is the last thing they set up. You get a letter of congratulating, an email congratulating you on your 1K. And then it takes a couple of days to go li uh, live on your phone. Lewis, Lewis said, I just hit seven. Nine. That's good, Lewis. Y'all coming on up. Blood helped me and J.D. Suss and Lisa 
free speech. Okay. Yeah, those, they have, ooh, their lives be popping. It be so many people in there. I can't keep up with them. Hey, 4Ks, welcome to the live. Look at all my moderators. Y'all look so pretty in your blue. And I thank y'all for everything you do for me. I love you. Today, I really didn't want to do nothing. I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm just in a lazy mood. Uh-huh. It will happen fast. Like, um... Vicky is telling you, and I was telling her the same thing, and she said, no, it's not, no, it's not, and look at her. <laughs> I love you more, <laughs> 4K. Yes. You coming around the corner too, 4K. It's your turn coming too. All my babies going to be getting their 1K. I can't wait. I love you too, Vicky. I really do. And you were hyped last night. How long did you stay on your live? You oh that one that's a uh, that's an awesome video. You never know which which video is gonna go won't be popping like that. You never know. But you're so good with explaining and getting your information out. You're really good at that. Yes, I'm almost there. Thank God. He is amazing. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Boy, he's blessed this little group. We, I mean, he blessed us to grow. Why you take your message off, Lewis? <laughs> Our congratulations for K's. That's right, Melanie. That's right. I am so happy. Y'all perk me up. <laughs> Everybody's about to get it. Vicky says almost three, got 35. Almost three. You got 35 hours yesterday. Wow, girl, you popping. You popping. Do you have the oh, I think it's only on on um um Apple iPhones that um what is it that app you YouTube tracker is that only on um iPhones where it tells you your hours your exact hours and when you can be um, when your monitor monitorization can uh, can come for yes. And you're going to get it. I told y'all to speak it. Speak it. Hey, it says we got five in the live. Three thumbs up. Come on with my thumbs up, y'all. Team Big. Hey, boss. How you doing, girl? I like that new name. Team Bill with Geo. I like that. You're all over the country with that one today. <laughs> you with your new name. Oh, YouTube Tracker is going through problems. But I emailed them. It should be fixed soon. Oh, they got problems? Are oh, you talking about where they don't show how many you have? I noticed that yesterday. Thank you. Sure is trying to build up the second. I know it takes a while, don't it? How is your, is your count coming pretty good? Everybody in the live, get um, Boss's new uh, page, Team Build with Geo. This is her new her new channel. So y'all y'all connect with her. And she came in under her name. So you all you got to do is hit it and go to her channel and watch it in full. You got 44 members now? Oh, that's good. Cuz was it 13? I think you had 13 when I when I connected. You had 13. No, my count not showing. Yeah, my count's not showing either. My count's not showing either at YouTube Tracker. But it's showing my hours, but it's not showing my count. And my hours, is yours the same way? My hours are more than what it is in the Creator Studio. 
Yes, don't mess up people's click through. Right? That's right. Don't mess it up. That's very important. Watch that full, full video. That's why you look for a small one. Don't go in looking for those big videos. And I've noticed everywhere I went today, uh, most of the places I went in the live, people are talking more. They're cutting back on their videos. They're making them shorter and shorter because of the click through rate. And they want to make sure people are watching their videos now. And they're, they're not doing those long videos anymore. Yeah, everybody connect with Team G Team Geo. Team Bill with Geo. Team Bill with Geo. Everybody connect, please. Uh, I do two 12 minute. That's right. That's good. That's good. And people have time to uh, watch them. Suds family said, okay, Gio, I showed you love. It's about helping you get those 4K right. And we need all the help we can get. Just to let you know that my YouTube friend is giving out bracelets. Just gave her your address and she will send you one. What type of bracelets are they, uh, Lewis? Vicky says she got you, Gio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is it cl getting cloud in your area too, Suds family? It looked like it's going to pour down here, but I, it did this yesterday also, but it went away. So maybe it will again today. My channel is going to be huge, y'all. I cannot believe I got this many people with so many Thank you, comments, and a good idea. God is good. Yes, he is good. He's blessing all of us in our channel. I know he blessed me in mine because it's like I blinked and I was at 1K. I st that journey, I still can't believe that I did that in a matter of what? I started February 22nd and the, near the end of May, February, March, April. Three months, I got my my um, 1K. Yeah, it is amazing. It is truly amazing. Suds family, I started in April and I'm at 6.15. You're doing good. You are doing good. Vicki, when did you start? Gio, I don't know if you know it, but um, Vicky made her 1K yesterday. Vicky's video made 1K yesterday. We're in, we've been celebrating. And I was in her live when she made it. I got to see it. You should have seen her face. She didn't know what to do. It happened so fast, though. I wasn't even expecting it yesterday. Looked up and it was, I think somebody told Vicky she had it before she even realized she had it. Says, oh, you two tracker not working, but I'm sure it was show some. Yeah, I do. I like you two tracker. I like them. They have to have you two reset it. Okay, okay. Yeah, she got her 1K. <laughs> it's a celebration today. I started posting videos at the end of 2018. Okay, okay. Vicky says, thanks everyone for the congrats. That's a, that's a huge milestone. That's something to be very, very proud of. Very proud of. Ain't no shame in that game. Yes, you'll be there. We'll be celebrating you also. You will be there. 
YouTube tracker owner is awesome. He replied to my email two hours later. I was shocked. Oh, that's good. That's good. So he's aware of the problem. Good. I like them. They also have some other little thing about Instagram to help you on your Insta Instagram. Hey, mom, I am allowed to go live now. Oh, they already did. They fast. They already got it on your phone. Wow. It took mine a couple of days to show up on my phone. Okay. Wow. And it showed up this morning? Read again. Yeah, Vicky. Uh, hey, Mama, I'm allowed to go live on my phone. Am I allowed? Oh, it will come up when you um, when you go on your phone and hit the little thing, you know, to upload. I mean, to upload your videos or whatever, you know, the little camera like thing you hit on the phone where you can go live. When you can go live, it'll it'll come up. It'll come up. But it took me a couple of days for that to uh, for them to act, act, activate that on my phone. Yes, you can make us laugh. We need a laugh. What is it, uh, Melanie? But keep watching it. You'll probably you'll have it by Sunday, I think. I watched a couple of yoga videos and her head was laying on his butt. I thought, oh no, what if he farts with her that close to his butt? I wouldn't have laid my head that direction. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my Lord. And some men in my family, I know they would have just to be funny. Just to get a laugh. They surely would. <laughs> oh, Gio's laughing also. Oh, but I, I told you, Vicky. Your community board, it takes it longer to show up, but it will. Sus family, I wanted to comment. <laughs> I know you did. I probably would have. And I know kicking it with Karen would have. She surely would. So, everybody, the topic today is extreme cheap steak cheap steak lord cheap skates and it's a man on uh tlc network is he's a, a a boxer and his name is matt riviera have y'all have y'all heard of him has everybody heard about mac riviera oh no the collab how about we all do a grocery haul Jill said no. Okay. A grocery haul when we all go grocery shopping. Honey, I don't grocery shop. <laughs> Seniors don't grocery shop. My husband pick up whatever we need at the moment. And that's the way we do it because we eat out most of the time. We might cook maybe once a week if we cook then because we end up throwing the food away because it's just the two of us. Yeah, that's right, G. Gio said, I go out. Yes. I don't have money to go grocery shopping. Vicky. Vicky. You still get food, though. But uh, that's a good idea. But now, I haven't really grocery shopped since my children left home, to be honest. I haven't. Because... We just pick up what we need at the moment and uh, eat out most of the time. We, we've done that. We've been doing this for years. I know it's true, Vicky. I know it's true. Well, back to Matt Matt Riviera. He's on the TLC network. He's a he's a boxer. He's a uh, and he's a self proclaimed cheapskate. He, this man, this young man, and he lives with his mother. 
He is so stingy. He has two pair of underwear. Two pair of underwear. You hear me? I watched um, his video or his show. I watched it. And he does the sniff test to see if he can wear his drawers two days in a row. And he had put on a pair. Then he tested the pair that was laying. He said, this is my other pair of underwear. Yes, Gio, that's nasty. And he smelled it on camera. He put it up to his nose and he smelled it. He said, I can wear these another day. He has two pair of underwear. He had his mother to cut all his hair off so he, does, so he wouldn't have to buy shampoo. He had his mother to skin his head. He was taking a shower and called his mother in there to shave his head. His mother buys all the food, but she don't think he's a cheapskate. She just thinks that he uh, knows how to manage his money. And uh, Lord, the followers he has, uh, in Social Blade, it showed that he makes between 14000 and on up a month. So I guess he's just banking that money. That money he's just banking because he don't spend, he had to go, he lives in New York and he had to go to Kentucky for uh, a wrestling or boxing match. He was, he had a piece of paper. He was tracking it on the map all the way to Kentucky at the different gas stations that he could stop at to get his gas the cheapest. This, I have never, never in my life seen a young person like him before. He is so stingy. Y'all need to check him out. His name is Matt. He's on YouTube. His name is Matt Riviera. He is uh, a self-proclaimed cheapest wrestler in the world. That's this, he he self-proclaimed that and uses all sorts of creative ways to save money, such as rewearing his two pair of underwear, shaving his head to save money on uh, shampoo. And he he lives off of $300 a month. That's what he lives off of, $300 a month. But he's living with his mother. His mother buys all the food. She helps him. He doesn't go to a gym. His gym is in the basement of his mother's house that he's rigged up all these different things to do his exercise. He had this long bar with... Um, it looked like two, uh, what is it? Two gallon, I mean, a gallon on each end of liquid in it that he uses as a weight. So uh, what did Gio say? The crazy chief, I would not marry him or be his girlfriend nor his friend because I know I would not get a dime if I needed some gas money. I know it. Hey, Karen, I'm headed back up north for the weekend. I will catch you in replay. Okay, sweetheart, but thanks for letting me see your pretty face, your name anyway today. Everybody's saying, hey, Karen. Karen, we're talking about this cheap wrestler. He's the cheapest. He's a cheapskate. And he has two pair of drawers. And he wears, he sniffs, sniffs them to see if he can wear them the next day. This guy is the, and lives off of $300 a month, but he's living with his mother. I have never seen nobody his age to be so cheap. Yes, you have a safe trip up. Yeah, back, back uh, where you're going. You have a safe trip. Traveling grace, traveling grace. And don't get caught up in all that music that you forget about us. <laughs> Remember, your family is waiting on you to come back. But I wanted to ask y'all, do y'all know anybody in your life or a friend that's real cheap? 
don't like to spend much money, don't like to... I can't handle people like that. I can't deal with that, though. Mm -mm. To me, that's borderline hoarders. You're close to being a hoarder. Suds family say, no, I don't know anybody neither. Uh, Geo says, no, I do not know anyone like that. Mm -mm. No. I'm going to watch some more of his videos because I got to see what he he keeps he does with his stingy self. But I couldn't get past the underwear. So, you know, if you don't have two pair of underwear, he probably buy uh, a tube of toothpaste every once a year. One tube probably lasts him a whole year. Two, I, I, I just cannot get over two pair of underwear. And then he picks up that pair and sniffs it in the crotch. <laughs> oh, Lord. You could not pay me no, enough money to smell that. Uh-uh. I couldn't do that. Oh, my Lord. Sus family, is he the one that was in uh, trending? I think, Yes. He's the one. He was in trending. Uh-huh. Yes. Matt Riviera. You need to check him out. His mother fully supports him in all that he does. She doesn't, uh, she don't think nothing's wrong with it. But I mean, to get his head shaved so he don't have to buy shampoo to wash his hair. If you want to be stingy, he could have washed his hair with the soap when he was in the in the shower. He didn't have to use shampoo. That's no reason to shave your head. Yeah, I saw that. LOL. I check trending every day and the stuff trending. Yet yeah, that stuff is crazy. I check it also. And then no, I'm gonna say some of it's all right. No. It's out there. It's out. I can see why it's trending. <laughs> but this young man, oh my goodness. He's just a little bit too far for me. Too far out there. But everybody, each to their own. We all got different ways of doing things and how we go about. But I could not live like that. And like um, Gio said, you couldn't date him because he wouldn't, I mean, he's not going to pay for anything. He's not going to spend a penny on you. He wouldn't even buy you a Coke. I would never tell anybody I only had two pairs. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? If I had two pairs, you wouldn't know it. Oh, my Lord. Two pair of underwear. He needs to come in my husband's underwear drawer because, I mean, it's loaded. Two pairs? Oh my gosh. And they both gray, two pair of gray underwear, gray boxers. And I said, oh, mm -mm. this world is crazy. It is crazy, cray, cray, crazy. Yes, G uh, Gian, you know it stank. Well, he was smelling it. It was stinking it, stinking, but in to, uh, in his mind, it wasn't stinking bad enough to wash. He said he could wear that one more day. Suds so My husband is stopped. Me too. I couldn't do that. I know it. My husband is too. I mean, the drawer is running over, running over. I was telling him, I said, you need to clean this out because I don't, ain't no way you can wear all these underwear. And mine the same way. I can... And my bras, Lord, him, I just have a drawer just full of bras. I can imagine having two bras. Lord, you sweat. <laughs> then am I the only person right here sweating? I, I can't get it. I just can't comprehend that one. The son's famous said, mine has a variety of different, Yes. Gio said, wonder if he had two pair of pants or one pair. I'm just I'm gonna watch some more of his videos to see what he really does. Oh, and his uh, those boots they wear to box in, he showed that they were coming apart. So when he's boxing, he tapes it all around. Clear tape. He put tape all around the shoes because he's too stingy to buy another uh, pair of 
of uh, boots. And he has to have a trainer. So when he went to the boxing studio, he traded it off. He works like he cleans up and do little odd jobs around the boxing stu studio in order to have a trainer. Now that part, I'm all right with that. I, I, I see that. I can go there with that. But when it comes to your hygiene, oh no, oh no. Oh, if he reuses his, oh, <laughs> you know how you need to throw away your toothbrush every three months and get a new one? He probably, probably has the same toothbrush he had in high school. I wouldn't be surprised. That's a shame. OMG, someone needs to whoop his butt and tell him to get his life in order. Yeah, but his mother is behind him 100%. She was sitting in the car with him. They're getting ready to go to Kentucky. He done mapped it out. But this that blew my this part blew my mind. In New York, he got it, you know, got it, got the gas in his car. He said it was five dollars a gallon. Five dollars a gallon. Gas here in my area is like uh 220, uh 222 a gallon, five dollars a gallon. Now I have to leave from there. Thank you, Vicky, for sharing me out. Thank you, sweetheart. The says, by the way, did you know that on the homepage, if they suggest a channel to you and you don't and you don't say don't to suggest channel, they no longer suggest channels anymore, even if you are a follower. They don't, they used to put that up, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that had quit. Well, somebody needs to talk to him to his mama. Something's wrong with that. Yes, something's wrong with that whole family. That's mm -mm. I don't understand. And you know what? I'm nosy. When I when I see pictures of somebody's house or when they're doing a video, I'm always peeping around to see what I can see. Cause I ain't calling no names because somebody was doing a video or a, I guess it was on a live, and they were doing one of them moot bang, muck bangs, whatever it is, they're eating and they're smacking, and they had a roach go across the table. <laughs> I click right off. I said, bye-bye. <laughs> Can't help it. I roached to go across the table, and she just knocked it off and kept eating. <laughs> Can't handle that neither. <laughs> Gio said, No, they did not. Yes, they did, Gio. Yes, they did. And this person has come commercials coming on their channel. Has commercials coming on their channel. I said, Oh, mm -mm, not with the roach. Not with the roach. And you're going to knock it out with your hand and keep on eating. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dolly and Beanie. Welcome to the live. Oh my God, a roach. <laughs> did that add to, I guess it did. I guess it did. Because I've been holding my hand up like this, running to the sink. <laughs> oh, Lord. didn't miss a beat and eating. Didn't miss a beat. You hear me? Did not miss a beat. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And I don't want to talk about nobody's channel. Lord, forgive me for that. But that just popped in my head about that roach. I can't, I can't go past that roach. Oh, Lord. I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, Melody, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't either. I said, okay, okay. And we all got different things going on. I understand that. But uh, uh, I would have cut that out. Well, she was doing a lot. She couldn't cut. Well, I don't know what. I would have done something, though. <laughs> Dolly said, ew. <laughs> Tell me. Uh-uh. I'm not telling what. I ain't, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but, Gio, I would have asked the same thing, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let some people eat bugs. Yes, yes. And I probably could have handled it all right with knocking it off the table, but you need to get up and go wash your hands. <laughs> You need to go wash your hand, but I guess it was her own germs and or whatever. Her, no, 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 no. Oh, that made me think. Have y'all ever been to somebody's house and uh, you sitting at the table and a roach fall out of their um, their light fixture and falls on the table? Now that has happened to me, and I scream. <laughs> You thought I saw a mouse because I am terrified, terrified of mice, terrified of mice. I mm -mm. can't do mice, can't do mice. My husband know if, if he see if, oh Lord, I will leave the house and I won't come back until it's gone. I am terrified of a mice. Oh, and out here in these woods where I live, my backyard ain't nothing but woods. And these critters between the mice and the snakes. Oh, Lord. Imagine her panties. <laughs> That's the truth. She needs to meet the guy, uh, Matt Riviera, with the two pair of drawers. <laughs> Dolly said, I am terrified too, friend. I ran. I saw one in Walmart, never came back to that Walmart. I don't blame you. And I worked at Walmart for 20 years. And I have to say the store that I was in, I seen one one time, the whole time I was in Walmart and it was back in receiving. Everybody in the store knew I saw it too. Because I mean, it terrifies me so bad. I'm near passing out. I mean, I just get that bad over it. And the guys was laughing at me. It's just a bitty bitty mice. Why are you acting like this? You better get it out of my presence. Uh-uh. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. <laughs> Sitting on the toilet and had a bug to fall in your lap while you were peeing. <laughs> oh, God. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh uh. No, 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 no. When we first moved, we've been in this house, what, 35 years or more? It's in the 30s. And on the back, when we first moved in here, it was trees all the way to our back deck. My husband is, he probably done cut, have 100 trees cut down. Because it, it was bad. You couldn't even walk out. I mean, the trees was just right there. So this area that I, where they made this subdivision, they call, uh, I live on a hill, and they call this hill Copperhead Hill. Because back in the day, it was nothing but copperhead snakes up here. And when we first moved here in the summer, I used to see um, this you know, skin, when they come out of their skin, they'd be laying out on the road. And I'm saying, what is, what kind of snake was that? I didn't realize then what a copperhead was. I It, it wasn't registering in my head. So uh, my washer and dryer is downstairs. My husband also does a lot of woodwork. And he has, in our garage, we don't park our cars in the garage. It's his workshop. We park our cars outside. So he had that garage full of, of wood. So, you know, mice love wood and snakes love wood. I was on a Saturday night. I never will forget it as long as I live. I went downstairs to get a load of clothes out of my dryer. We uh, Downstairs is, is the family room, the laundry room, and a bathroom. In front of the bathroom was this big black snake curled up. Slick as slick could be. He had to come out of that commode because he was wet. He was wet. I was screaming back up the steps. My kids were, they were teenagers then, and my girls are in their 40s. That's how long this was, long ago it was. I woke up my husband, and he is terrified of snakes. By the time I got him to go downstairs to see about this snake, 
the snake was gone. My girls left that night. They said they were standing in this house with no snake. And in our bedroom, I put towels and stuff in front of the door like that was going to, I mean, at the bottom of the door, like that was going to do something. That next day, my husband and his brother gets this grand idea that they were going to freeze that snake out. So they turned the air condition down as low as it would go. It was so cold in here. I'll tell you the truth. We have not seen that snake to this day. I don't know where that snake went, but it took me a long time to be able to go back down in that den and wash and dry clothes. I was going to the laundromat because I was not going back down there where that snake was. So after that episode, my husband got uh, some of all that wood and stuff that was in the garage. He took it out of the garage and put it down uh, down the hill. He started putting it down there. But no, no, no. That was, oh, it had to come. I mean, it was slick and wet and black and curled up. I think I got back up them steps in probably in less than two seconds. I flew. Oh, wow. I just got noticed lightning has been detected. Oh, I'm not scared of snakes because snakes eat mice. My fiance. Big as 6'4", scream like a little girl when he saw a car snake. <laughs> I can imagine. Because I was, uh, my husband and I were working in our backyard, working in the flowers, and it was a baby snake. Now, the baby snakes I can deal with. I don't run from them as bad. But I happen to say, Jimmy, it's a snake over here. And I don't think it took him two steps and he was at the garage. <laughs> he just left me standing. But it was a baby snake, so I wasn't afraid of that one. Team Geo, we seen a roach in a restaurant, but we had to finish eating. The manager came and gave us the food free and apologized. Something awful. Oh, my God. Ladies should always keep the, the booties and the cupboards clean. <laughs> That's true. Y'all been talking, too. I done missed it all. Oh, my Lord. My sister said, I don't feel good. And he gave us free food for three days, but we never went back. I wouldn't have went back either. I wouldn't have, oh, no way. I wouldn't have went back. Oh, no. Are you going to talk about Matt Riviera that was on TLC? Yes, that's, well, that's what we'll be talking about was Matt Riviera. That's how we done got into snakes and everything, mice and everything, roaches and everything else talking about him and how he wears, uh, has only two pair of underwear. What do you know about him? And how are you doing today? What, how you pronounce it? Is that, is that Mahmoud? Mahmoud? Yeah, I said I was going to watch more of his videos because I want to know more about how he, he lives. Dolly, who is Matt Riviera? He is a, a boxer. He's, he uh, has a program on uh, TLC, but he's in the trending, in the uh, YouTube trending. He's in that. And uh, I wrote this. It is Matt, <clears throat> Matt Riviera is a self-proclaimed cheapest wrestler in the world and uses all sorts of creative ways to save money, such as rewearing his two pair of underwear, shaving his head to save on shampoo. And he lives on $300 a month. Let me see what you're saying. Uh, Gio said he is, yes, Mr. Stank Stank. Yep, I'm good, ha ha. The tissue thing is just, just a disgusting habit. Yes, it is. <clears throat> but that he lives with his mother, and his mother thinks he's he uh he just knows how to, I mean, what is it, manage his money. He's not a frivolous liver, I mean liver, Lord, um person. Because <clears throat> um, like my husband and I, we go out to eat all the time. Ain't no way. He's going out to eat, living on $300 a month. No. 
Dolly, $300 a month. I'm going to watch more of his videos just to see what he does. Oh, he must live rent. Oh, he does live for rent free. He lives with his mother. He moved back in with his mother so he don't have to pay rent. She buys his food. I mean, he's spoiled, I guess. I guess that's one way of saying it. But he was in the shower and called his mother to come shave his head because he didn't want to uh, buy shampoo to wash his hair. So he'd rather be bald-headed. And like I was saying before, why don't he just wash his hair with the soap? I mean, if you're that stingy, put the soap in there. You don't need, he's not using conditioner or anything anyway. So just go ahead and wash your hair with the soap. Why would you cut off all your hair? Oh, there's only one, that, that video then. Okay. I guess you have to watch him on TLC. But I watched that video. Dolly said, weird relationship. His mama needs to toss him out. She does, but she... She enables him. She helps him because he does his uh, workout because he doesn't pay a gym to go and do workout. He does his workout in her basement and he has it all rigged up. Oh, gosh. He broke something in that video while he was doing his workout and she asked him if he was going to buy another one and he said he'll think about it. <laughs> Y'all need to watch that video. Please do watch it. I want to know. Gio, you got to watch it. I Please watch it. I want to know what you think about it. <laughs> I thought he was huge. No, he's a little bit of skinny thing. But he is a young guy. Not bad looking. But he can't get with <laughs> And then smell that one pair. And he said he could wear those again. They weren't that bad. He can wear them again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sometimes I change underwear three times a day. <laughs> can you imagine only having two pair of underwear? Dolly said he is so spoiled. No wonder he can. I know what he is. Okay, Vicky, glad you're back. As if pursuing wrestling wasn't bad enough, the man makes his mom tag along. Sure did. Going with him to Kentucky. Going to Vicky's uh, part of the country. Going to Kentucky. Did you smell him, Vicky? Did you smell him when he hit Kentucky? <laughs> Mr. Stank. You're right, Gio. That's all he is. It's Mr. Stank, 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 Stank. I wonder what he do if somebody uh, got it. No, who's going to touch that one pair of drawers anyway? Because he's going to have one pair on and the other pair. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I still want to know how he brushes his teeth. Does he have the same toothbrush that he had when he was a child and with the one bristle in it? <laughs> Is he on that same um, tube, uh, toothpaste? that he had back in 2000. I don't understand him. How do they find these people? I don't know. That's what I wonder. And who wants to tell that? Gio said, what is the point of taking a shower? Thank you. Ain't no need to take a shower. But he had, he had his head all lathered up. I mean, all the lather he had in his head for his mother to shave it, he could have uh, saved some of that lather and took, uh, took a bath all week off of. But it, that got me. That just floored me. I couldn't get past the two pair of drawers. I said, two pair of drawers. And then he going to stand there and smell it. What's the point of taking a shower? Isn't it? Oh, no. Mm -mm. And how do you live on $300 a month? He must put ten dollars worth. Of, well, he said the gas was five dollars a gallon, so most of his money must be going to gas. He needs a bicycle. <laughs> Vicky, oh, what are you talking? Ask me what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Matt Riviera. He is a self-proclaimed cheapest wrestler in the world. He's a cheap state. Cheap steak. I can't never say that. But he only has two pair of drawers, Vicky. 
and he's he's on the trending. You need to go and watch this little video that he has. And he had one pair on, and he sniffed the other pair to see if it needs to be washed or. And he said he could wear them again. He can go to the thrift thrift store and buy some joy. That's the truth. They're proud to give them to him. Oh, I used to know this girl. You know how you take, uh, what is it? To the thrift store. Uh, what's the name of the one? Um, the one that everybody goes and, and uh, take care of. Anyway, in the back, the one that we have here, at nighttime, people will take bags of uh, clothes there and put them back there. This young, little young girl used to go and she was driving a Lexus. She would go and get those bags of clothes that people will, would take Salvation Army. That's what I was trying to think of. At the Salvation Army, she would go and get those bags of clothes that she could put in her car, take them home and go through those clothes and pick out what she want and had to nerve to try to give what she didn't want to other people. Would be styling, driving a Lexus. A not an old Lexus, but a fairly new Lexus, but was still enclosed from the Salvation Army. <laughs> when he sniffs his cup, let <laughs> not keep it together. <laughs> I know it. I know it. I know it. Everybody got to watch that video. They got to watch it. Oh my God. And then he tracking. From what is it, New York to Kentucky, the route, the, the gas station. Oh, and then he stops at a gas station and he's trying to barter with them, trying to get the guy to get the gas lower for him. I'm, he's one of a kind. We'll see. Looks like she can be it. I know his mother. Yeah. It's a weird relationship. Yeah. And she just sits there like everything is just, this is normal way of life. This is how everybody lives. This is the right thing to do. Dolly, good. Oh, y'all were all telling me good when I was trying to think of the name. Yes. But that girl driving around in a Lexus, still in clothes from the Goodwill. Mm-hmm. A girl who steals the clothes can be his girl. <laughs> oh, yes. They, they would be good together. They would be good together. But I tell you, when that girl stepped out, she looked good. She, she, she knew how to dress. And which it is, it's good clothes. I mean, that, you know, people be taking there. But I'd be just in such, like, awe of how in the world you just stole clothes from the goodwill and she didn't th she didn't see it as stealing she didn't see it she thought that that was normal that that was the normal thing to do people putting them in the, putting them there in the back at night for the store when it opens in the morning but she think it's normal for her to go and just take them I, I don't know that's a new way of thrifting. <laughs> How you find out about the girl in the Lexus? I know her. I know her personally. I know her. I was her supervisor at one time. I know her personally. Beautiful, beautiful girl. If you seen her, you would never think she would do something like that. To see her... Walking and come to, I mean, like, is she coming towards you? You're going to be thinking, oh, she is so pretty. <laughs> Everything she got on is stolen. <laughs> oh. Dolly said her name is, I'm a cheap trick. Yeah, she's a cheap trick. Cheap trick. Very cheap trick. But I have never seen nobody do anything like that before in my life. Never. Where Dolly says, rub the 10 cents and make a quarter. 
And I bet that guy goes along and pick up every penny he sees laying on the ground, every coin, everything. Oh, mm -mm -mm. no, no, no. She's a cheap trick, though. She's a treat. I mean, she's cheap. Keeps her car clean. Always look nice. She looks out, step out like a million bucks. But everything she got on, she done stole. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Does he have kids? The rest? No, I don't think he does. He didn't mention kids. I don't think he's. Who would want to marry him? Who would marry somebody with two pair of drawers and they sniff them? <laughs> Nobody I know. I don't know where that young man gonna find a wife or a girlfriend. I just don't know. I guess all the people I know probably be too bougie. Because who's going to go out with somebody like that? And I hope he doesn't have any kids. Now, he's still living with his mama. So, him and mama got it going on. Gio said, I don't and won't marry nothing like that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Shoot, I love my... That's right. You got to love yourself better than that. I mean... I don't know. It has to be a, a woman that's just like him that he marries or have a girl as a girlfriend. Because I just don't know any young ladies that will go out with him. I don't care if he is a wrestler. And he's getting ready. I mean, when he wrestles, he tapes up his boots because his boots are tearing. He needs a new pair of boots. And he tapes the boots up. So... Suds family says, oh no, I couldn't handle being with something like that. Ew, I know it. I know it. And he didn't say how his hygiene, how often he takes a bath. So if he's so so stingy, where it's his mama's water, so he probably takes a bath when he wants to. Uh, what is he using the money? He said, thank you. And the money he makes on YouTube. Because he has a lot of followers and uh, in Social Blade, you know, where they give you what you can, your lowest to your highest, it was unbelievable. So he's making money from YouTube. And I'm quite sure he probably has some sponsors or something, but I don't know. But like you said, that was his only video, but it was high. He is a mess. Is anybody else going live today? He needs some soap sponsors. <laughs> he could have got the shampoo and, and could have saved his hair. His future GNA shared use, use tissue. Oh, Lord. His future wife. Yeah. Now, he'll probably, you know what, pull them apart. And you have one. And I have one. <laughs> oh gosh mm -mm. I couldn't handle him but I enjoyed watching him because I couldn't believe nobody was, was doing nothing actually like that I guess he will reuse a gun oh! <laughs> somebody going to get pregnant I wonder does he really have a girlfriend has he ever had sex with anybody? Ooh. That's what I wonder what he's saving for. Because you can't take it with you. So why don't you enjoy your life? Why don't you live? Enjoy yourself. He needs to buy a package. I mean, like he could go to the Salvation Army or uh, the thrift stores or Goodwill or somewhere and buy some drawers for a quarter. Ten cents. What is it on Wednesday? They have half price or some kind of little sale that people go to. Go then. Yes, new drawers. Because <laughs> he needs to go. He needs to go. Okay, does anybody know of anybody having a live going? Yes, he should go to a resort 
get a jacuzzi and massage with all that saved. Oh, with that saved up money. Because I don't know if I would want to get in a jacuzzi behind him knowing he done been in one. Mm-mm. Suds family. Oh, you're not till Monday. Okay. Okay. Vicky, when you're going live again. Going live later today. Okay. I do not mind starting. I do mind starting at 12. Okay. Okay. I did, okay. That's a good time. Who's it going to turn gray when he hops in? Oh, God. It probably will. It probably will. Oh, my goodness. And end up with yours. And end up when yours is about to start. Okay. Oh, you go live for three hours. Gio, when you going live again? There was a cheap lady named Kate on TLC. She worked the, in the banking corporation? Lord. Well, I'm not sure if I would go live today. Tired from going to those streams. I know it on Saturday. I know I will be going live at 10. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're behind our behind sets. Okay. With all the enabling his mom doing, she should just buy him some drawers. That's right. Ate food out of a further. Oh Lord. Had bought a condom in New York for one million. It seems like every everyone is going live now. Yes, a lot of people going live now. It is. I like the slower lives better though, because I'm fast ones. I know you can get a, a lot of people in there, but that sucker be going too fast for me. Too, too, too fast. Well, it's coming to a close time. And I will read. Lord, I'm always can't. I'm always hitting the wrong thing. Everybody in here, if you're not um, Team Bill with Geo, please join the uh, her channel. It's a new channel, a new channel. Team Bill with Geo. That is a new channel. That is out. So check her out if you can. And I'd like to thank all of my moderators today. Y'all been looking good and thank you for helping me. So it's the end of my live and I want to speak life and declare and decree over you. I am courageous. I am unstoppable. I am victorious. I am love. I am gifted. I am blessed. I am anointed, I am successful, I am healthy, I am beautiful, I am whole, I am confident, I am forgiving, I am grateful, I am generous, I am strong, I am favored, I am able, I am powerful, I am fruitful, I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece. He don't make no jump. Go in your blessings of God. You all are blessed and highly favored. I love you all and have a blessed evening. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.